James Barfield with What's Up Wichita, the channel that is often du imitated, but is never duplicated. And today we're fortunate to have with us two guests, the president of Grambling State University, Mr. Uh, Rick Gallett, and along with the director of communications for, uh, for Grambling uh, State University, Ms. Tish, Tisha Arnold. Welcome to What's Up Wichita, both of you. Now, I'll start with you, Mr. Yellup. Uh, can you bring us up to date as to what took place this weekend during your homecoming ceremonies that it, uh, involved a fatal death? Sir, you're, you're, you're muted. Your mic is muted. Okay. Thank you. I'm, my apologies. I should know how to do this by now. Uh, you know, really, to, in order to give give up, you know, a full picture of, of of everything, you know, of course, this was the first homecoming that that we've had since 2019 because of uh, because of COVID. And, and so, when you when you think about the the fact that you know we had our uh, on Saturday morning we had our homecoming parade, you know that uh, that we always uh, uh, have along homecoming. We had you know thousands of of people. Um, uh, tailgating there at the at the stadium, we had you know thousands of people who attended the uh, the, the game, uh, cheering our our Tigers on to a win over uh, over Texas Southern. Uh, post game, we we had alumni events, um, a uh, one event in our um, black and gold room, and we're preparing for the next event, which was a uh, midnight breakfast uh, that is, you know, just so so very popular with our uh, with our alumni when this you know event occurred, sure. and and so you know it it was you know certainly not something that uh, you know the the you have we have thousands of our alums and others who who came to homecoming had a great experience and were able to, to go home safely without any incident whatsoever. But when this event occurred uh, uh, you know, sometime after one o'clock a.m., uh, initiated by you know, some non-students, non-alumni, you know, just, uh, you know, I don't know uh, what, if any, their connection was to the campus, but they certainly were not, uh, were not students and they were not uh, alumni. Who got into some kind of altercation and uh, and, and gunfire e erupted. Uh, so you know it's it's so so very unfortunate that uh, that this occurred. The one fatality uh, was a non-student, and uh, I, I don't have any uh, identifying information in terms of, of their name. Uh, Louisiana State Police is uh, handling the investigation, and so you know anything beyond that from a factual standpoint. I would I would certainly have to defer to uh, to the to the state police. Okay, and uh, either one of you can answer this question. But uh, have we identified a, a suspect in this case, or has anybody been arrested at this point? Uh, again, all of that's in the uh, in the hands of the uh, of the Louisiana State Police, and uh, of course, I've been doing a lot of these today. Uh, mm -hmm. So. So, so I have not, uh, it, I could very well have something in my inbox right now and just not be aware of it. But as of right now, I'm not aware of uh, anyone being uh, in custody as a, as a result of this. Okay. Uh, can you tell me how many people were involved uh, in terms of injured in addition to the fatality? So a total of eight with, uh, with, with, one, with one fatality. Okay. As far as as far as we know, and has that uh, fatal uh, that fatality been identified at this point? Uh, no, sir. I'm I'm not aware of. The, and again, the the Louisiana State Police, because they are in charge of the investigation, would be the uh, the you know the entity that would be releasing that information. We we would not be the ones uh, doing it because the the investigation uh, was turned over to them. Sure. Okay. Okay. As a result of what took place, or I understand, I guess your facilities, your school is closed for today, and all ceremonies are called off. Is that correct? So we're we're not closed, but we uh, we cancel classes for today and tomorrow. So uh, staff, uh, for the most part, are you know are all here, but uh, faculty and students, you know, there there are no classes taking place today uh, or tomorrow. But but. People like me, in my office, you know, um, support staff across the um, across the the university are are all at work today. 
Okay. Now, I know this is a very unfortunate incident. Uh, I know that it's something that certainly uh, your university is not happy with, not pleased with at all. But I just want to touch on one subject and ask you a question. Uh, this is your second fatal shooting incident within recent days. Do you have any information that would indicate to you that these two shootings would be connected in any fashion or form? You know, and, and that uh, that question was asked of the um, of the state police yesterday at the um, uh, at the press conference, and uh, uh, the the trooper responded that they had no information to suggest that there was any uh, that there was any connection uh, between these two uh, these two incidents. Okay, and uh, I guess I just ask, have to ask you once again. Uh, the Louisiana State Police are assured that this individual, the suspect here, was not a student at your university? Well, we, we were the ones who, who uh, certified that. Now, you, let me make sure I understand who you're asking me about now. I'm asking you about the alleged shooter. Okay, well, we, the alleged shooter has not, been, uh, has not been identified yet. That information has not been, uh, uh, has not been shared. But based on the information that we're provided by state police, uh, that that uh, that individual is is not a uh, is not a student. Okay, all right. And uh, let me uh, just ask this for uh, Ms. Arnold. Ms. Arnold, do you have any additional information to bring forward regarding this case? No, uh, my my sentiments mirror uh, President Gallo's because it's under investigation. We just don't have a lot of those details, and uh, most of that would have come from Louisiana State Police. Okay, okay. And either one of you can answer this question. Are any of the eight injured still hospitalized? D do not have that, that information at this time. Do not have that, okay, okay. Well, listen, I really appreciate your coming on today and I wish it was under different circumstances, uh, but- well, well, you know, if I, if I could just add that you know, this this really this whole issue is is much bigger than than just Grambling. Obviously, you know we're a we're a national brand, and and when when things happen that would would you know ordinarily never get picked up by uh, by yes. news outlets. You know, there ordinarily there there's no reason why Wichita, uh, Kansas, <laughs> would cover you know anything that that was happening in in rural North Central Louisiana in Lincoln Parish, Louisiana. You know, we we certainly recognize that. Uh, that's why we're we're on this call, and that's why I've been you know fielding interviews all, all day. But I, I think really the the issue is so much bigger. And I spoke to one of our our local state senators last night, and she said uh, she said Rick, this isn't this isn't about Grambling. This this is much bigger than that. This is the proliferation of of guns in the hands of uh, of individuals who should not uh, who should not have guns in in their hands. And and you know whether it's a a, a university. Trying to, to celebrate, you know, homecoming in what is our 120th year mm -hmm. as an institution. Um, you know, this is, a, you know, there are uh, high schools, there are elementary schools, there are other colleges, there are, uh, you know, nightclubs and uh, in, in Las Vegas, a hotel and just, you know, mass shootings is, is something that uh, unfortunately has become too, uh, too often. Uh, of an occurrence. And, and so I think, you know, we've really got to take a step back and, and really, you know, peel some layers back and, and say, why can't we somehow get a handle on so many guns in so many hands that, uh, that they really shouldn't be? I mean, you know, we're, we're in the business of, of educating students, you know, and, and, and we have a responsibility. And of course, as, as president, you know, ultimately I, I accept all responsibility for the safety and success of our students. And, and as a personal matter, when I get on my knees every night and pray, I pray for the safety and the security of our students. And, you know, when, when situations like this occur, you know, no, nobody's more concerned about uh, the implications behind it uh, than, than I am. And, and so, you know, again, we, we will take the, you know, the measures that are necessary to, uh, you know, by curfews and, and other, uh, you know, proactive steps to, to keep our, uh, our students safe. 
but we're also, you know, for, for me, you know, it, this is more than, than just, you know, checking boxes. This is about also, you know, in, entering into a period of fasting and prayer with our student body and with our administrators. We're holding prayer every, uh, every day at noon now. And, and I've entered into a seven day fast and, and prayer and, and have invited a lot of other people to, to join me in this effort because our, our land needs a healing. Okay. And, and it's going to take, uh, it's going to take more than just, uh, you know, strategic plans to, to, to change that. Uh, yeah, Mr. Yelp, let me say, I totally agree with everything you said, except one. Uh, the reason that this caught the attention here in Wichita, Kansas, is because of the fact that we look, we're not immune to this either. We've had shootings here in recent days, okay, not months. Mm -hmm. We've had them right yeah. here with youngsters, okay, so we fully understand. But mm -hmm. the main reason that, that you caught my attention in particular is because this network is totally different than any other network that I know of because we focus on issues that affect and, and, and uh, involve black issues and concerns, okay? Mm -hmm. And like I said at the beginning, you've got, uh, Grambling has alumni all over this country. So black people, right. okay, this interview that we've done today, I don't think you probably have done anything like this with any other network, I'm not sure. But it's not unusual, I mean, it's unusual if you have. But that's what brought us to this issue, sir. And But I certainly understand where you're coming from. We do have in this country a real problem with guns and with people who should not have guns. And I've always said, I know here in Kansas about, I don't know, three years ago, they passed a law that students on campus could carry guns. I think that's a totally, totally bad idea, okay? And I would never favor that because of the fact that you will have situations just like what has occurred at your place and other schools, you know, so it's not unique to Grambling, don't get me wrong, okay? But I fully understand where, you, where, you come, where you're coming from. And thank again, you. I would like to say thank you very much uh, for spending some time with me today, and we appreciate it. And uh, we hope that the next time we meet, it'll be on better circumstances. Absolutely. Okay? Thank you for having us. Yes, That's thank it. you. What's up? What you know? Bye -bye. program is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association. 